Welcome back to Let's Play Shantae, Risky's Revenge, Burning Dog fans. That chasm was just leading to a chest I'd already opened. So I find myself still wandering Tangle Forest looking for a coffee machine of all goddamn things. So, for lack of anything better to do, I've decided to take a look in that lilacs and pumpkin field that lies beyond this spot where I murdered that golem. What was the problem with this one? That's right, fuck you, that is impossible. Ah. Step right up, one by one. Ugh. Must have blocked it with this stupid pumpkin thing. It was entirely luck that I dodged that. I'm not going to lie. I have a question, guys. When did purple replace green as video game shorthand for poison? A chest! Could this be the home appliance I've been looking for? You found a broken coffee machine! Thank fuck. Oh yeah, that. Oh no, that is the elephant dance. The, that's the elephant stump. Looks like a broken coffee machine. Who can fix it? Oh! I didn't expect I wouldn't be able to jump. Okay. I guess it just, uh... I guess it must just load the, uh, last place I entered this screen from. Achievement unlocked. Old money bags. Max out the gem counter. Oh, wow, look at that. $999 dollar dues. So here's the thing. In between episodes, I went back to town, and I talked to my friends. I remembered that, uh... That, uh... I think it's Sky was her name? She doesn't say anything useful. She's, uh, she just talks about not entirely trusting Roddy Tops and her brothers. Fuck yes. But Bolo says, uh... You know, he's, he's the, he gives you the tip that you can smash golems, uh, stone statues, that kind of thing, if you have enough force. Oh, this isn't the screen I thought it was at all. What the hell? Oh, I hate this place. No wonder they call it the Tangle Woods. Oh, that's the spot. But what Shantae's uncle had to say was that Sky's bird wrench is really good at repairs.
Jimmy the fuck out of here. Freedom! Nice timing. Damn it. Right, yeah, okay, I did talk to that guy before. Uh, this is where Sky and Ranch are. Hey, Shante, you've got coffee beans and a coffee machine? Want some help with that? Why did he say it like it's the biggest shock in the world? Gave the grinder. Oh, bother, oh, bother, this is no good. This coffee machine is all busted up. Well, it's nothing my wrench can't repair. Come on, boys, do your thing. Open wide! Um, there's supposed to be rotten egg in that. You wouldn't happen to have an egg I could borrow, would you? You're really pushing the boundaries of friendship here. Thanks to you, I've got one rotten egg too many. Don't bother with the puppy dog guys. One tall coffee, extra room for a stank. You got a latte! That would probably play out a lot better if they didn't make me stand in front of the animation for that. Maybe I was supposed to stand to the other side of her. No more zombie barista. You owe me one. Thank you, Sky Ranch. You're the best pals ever. I'm gonna take this to the boathouse. No, it makes me stand right in front of the machine. The monkey dash and the elephant stomp. You should search the desert high and low until you find these special relics. It may be impossible to advance without them. Well, that's less fun. I just thought they were cool. Oh yeah, you always say the same thing. Let's see if he says the thing about fleeing from the ammo baron. Yep. Great. So I think. Now I need to head back to, uh... Right, okay, so I don't need to do, uh... Talk to anyone else. Actually, fuck it, I've got a bunch of dollar dues. might as well buy some shit. I have two magic jars. So I don't think I can get the magic shampoo just yet. Problematic, because that's what I want. Right now, I've got such a problem with... Well, that's kind of the problem, isn't it? I've already got max dollar dues. Thanks to my idiotic wanderings. I guess I'll get the, uh, Pike Ball upgrade. And it's still not very much room for more. Even that one doesn't eat the mana very quickly. I'm gonna turn that off for a while and it will regenerate. I guess it's in the, la the back. Weird though, I feel like this one looks less dangerous than this one. Okay, this is like mermaid bluffs or something. Oh. Pretty sure that's not how mermaids work. 
Pretty sure that's not how mermaids work either. Ah, oh, you terrorist. Oh, enough to this place. Oh wow, I'm almost dead. Holy shit! Okay! Surprise! You're dead now. I was expecting that to add exactly one. Oh! Not looking forward to uploading the uh, first two videos of this session. So much faffing about. Hey, I did it, and I did it without consulting a guide or anything. Hey, if I beat the Talos Principle without uh, looking up any of the answers on the internet, you can, I can sure as hell beat this. Oh. So that's got to be the Hypnos, the Hypno Baron's dungeon. Look, I'm not looking. Turn around. Do they always drop dollar redos? What's up with that? Oh, right. <clears throat> Monkey time! Oh, I see where that's going. Oh. Boy, that's really handy. Okay, yeah, I have started my timer. I thought it was really embarrassing. No wonder. Nope. No, fuck this. This one is so useful, maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll actually invest in some mana potions. Fuck! That is really annoying. I don't want your fucking dollary dudes. Give me your health. Look, I will jump over the dollary dudes you drop and keep going. Entirely because they're hard to whip. Huh? What's that? Ugh, is it morning already? I don't know why I read it every time. And this the uh, ritual. Snooze time. Ugh. Ah!
both wearing the same headband as the monkey. Which may be the same headband she's wearing, it's kinda hard to tell because she has bangs. Well, this must be the boathouse. Zombie Latte with Egg. Your home is in a shitty location. Look who's back! Wasn't sure you'd keep your end of the deal. Whatever, here's your lousy drink. Yeah, her... No, no, here her eyebrows are very clearly purple. What's up with that? Oh, and she is wearing that, uh, tiara. Gave the latte. A latte? That's a chick's drink. Well, you remembered Poe's egg anyway, so at least he'll shut his gab. It smells wonderful. You can't tell where the foam ends and the scrambled eggs begin. Ah. Uh... So anyways, here's the ticket to getting into the Hypno Baron's joint. You got plastic explosive. <laughs> oh boy, it's a blob. What am I supposed to do? Sculpt my way in? It ain't clay. That there's enough plastic explosive to blast his wimpy door into next week. All you need now is a detonator. I don't even know what that is! Just stick this wad to the Baron's door, hit it with an electrical spark, and stand back for the fireworks. This had better work. Denied. You know what, since I'm on this screen... I'm actually going to go back to town and buy some, uh, mana potions. Because why not? It's not like I'm hurting for dollar dues. That even the NPCs, like this guy doesn't even have a walking animation, but they inserted a very simple animation for him turning around when you walk past him. Not that guy, though. Achievement unlocked. Enough for everyone! Max out potions. I'm glad I bought those, then. Didn't know there was an achievement for that. Oh, so that would be the max... the, the flamethrower, and whatever the uh, ultimate cloud is called. Although, come to think of it, the level 2 cloud is, uh, an explosion, not a, uh... Not lightning, so I will have to use the level 1 cloud to open that door. Oh, yeah. Plastic explosive? Let's blow something up! You know, so I don't to mention. I'm assuming by the fact that she has no idea what an explosive is that she, uh, this is supposed to be like a vaguely medieval setting, but I note that these guards don't even have swords or anything. They're just standing there. They're just guys. I mean, they're big and brawny, so I assumed they were meant to be guards the first time I laid eyes on them. Well, that and the first thing they ever said to me was that they couldn't let me pass. I should go to the seaside retreat and pester the mayor next time.
Yeah, I really should have used the map to find, uh, Roddy Tops, I admit it. But, at least I, I can rest assured knowing that the, le that the fucking, uh... I don't know if it's going this way. I can rest assured that the stupid, uh, plastic explosive... Plastic explosive? The, uh, the coffee machine was not labeled on the map. Once again, dearly sorry for taking so goddamn long to finish that side quest. I know I never claimed to be, uh, MLG or anything, but... You know, I still prefer to make my, uh... videos entertaining and not frustrating for you guys. I go over to the uh, end of the video. I just wanted to take care of that door in this video so that we at least have that. I wanted to mention something I noticed on Steam. The, uh... Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, at least that's dead. The, uh... The reviews for this game. There's a very strange trend. Uh... A lot of the reviews for Risky's Revenge, criticize it, and refer to it negatively. Because it's not as good as Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. I'd like to remind you, this is the second game in the series. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is the third game in the series. They are explicitly... judging this game poorly, because it's not as good as the one that came out AFTER it. On more powerful hardware, no less. This is a DS game. At least through DSiWare, so it probably had a very small footprint. But... I want to say, uh... Pirate's Curse was, uh... WiiWare? Maybe released in the Wii U? I'm not sure. I haven't looked into that one as extensively. I'm just saying, of course that one's better! It came out after this. They learned from this game. This is the place. Stick the plastic explosive here. Use the explosives. That does it. All I need now is a bolt of energy. Fire in the hole! Before we go in... Save the game here. I did notice one review for Risky's Revenge. It was actually positive, but it nitpicked everything about it as not being as good as in the sequel. Which, again, stupid. But, uh, I did see, that one did have uh, something of an explanation. Uh, Humble Indie Bundle. 
included a bundle with Risky and the Pirates, uh, sorry, with Shantae and the Pirates Curse before they had a bundle with Shantae Risky's Revenge. So people who are habitually picking up the Humble Indie bundle experienced the one after this before this one. But you know, if I... No, I've played... I have played Half-Life 2. I have not played Half-Life 1. And I'm just saying that... You know, if someone gifted me a copy of Half-Life right now and I went and played it, I would understand that it came out years earlier than the one I had played, that it wasn't awning on as powerful hardware, and I would expect it not to be quite as good as the one I had already played. It's called Reasonable Expectations. I just, it just, you know, I'm not, you know, trying to become a defender of Risky's Revenge or anything. I'm sure Pirate's Curse is better. It just strikes me as incredibly stupid to negatively score this game because it's not as good as the game that improved on it. Ah, well. In any event, I'm running over time, so I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Shantae, Risky's Revenge, when we head into the Hypno Baron's uh, dungeon, and hopefully accomplish a whole lot more than we did this session. <laughs> Later!